Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have fear and loneliness. So some of you guys don't know how to be alone. Some of you guys don't like being single. It says you stay in bad or you stay in relationships that are bad just because you don't want to be single. It says you stay in bad relationships because you are lonely being okay. Be okay being with yourself. So that's what you guys need to work on is being okay single. Not needing another person. Not lowering your standard just for the sake of be, not being alone or, you know, not having somebody. We have getting hurt. So it says all love comes with a risk of losing it. Don't be afraid of loss. Take a chance. Some of you guys are very guarded to the point where you're not even letting any love in because you know there's a risk of getting hurt. So we have age issues. It says you feel too old or too young to date or you have issues with your partner's age. So for some of you, it's that like you're not open to dating. Like you're, you're very specific when it comes to the certain age um, of a person that you that you like to date like you're you're some of you guys need to step outside of your type and it may have something to do with age for others of you you just feel like maybe you're just getting too old or you're you're too young or you're too young to settle down or you're you're too old to find a person by now and things like that that's a limiting belief we have insecurities so it says work on building your confidence and feeling safe in your relationship so some of you guys when you're in relationships you let your insecurities get the best of you. You run, you self-sabotage, you maybe always think the worst of whoever you're dating. That that usually stems from an unhealed wound from like, just say, for example, you were cheated on in the past. You never fully healed from when that person cheated on you. So now when you're dating people in the present, you have a tendency to always think that person or have that suspicion that that person is cheating on you or they will cheat on you. We have hiding feelings. So it says you need to express how you feel to the one you love to, to see how they feel in return. So Spirit is saying that if you want somebody to be open and honest with their feelings and emotions with you, you need to also have the willingness to, have, to be open and honest about your feelings and emotions. Reciprocity. We have body shame. So it says you feel unattractive to others. Work on accepting yourself flaws and also some of you guys need to work on your confidence, your self-love. For some of you, if you really are unhappy with the way that, you, you know, your body, like, just say it's your weight. Like, Spirit's asking, what are you doing about those things that you're insecure about or that you don't like about yourself or things like that? Now, we should love ourselves, right? We should love ourselves the way that we are. But if it's things like, you know, um, like for me, I'll be honest. I'll be vulnerable. I don't like my post-baby body. I've had three babies. I don't like my body after having three kids. Um, what am I currently doing about it? I am obviously focusing on loving myself as I am, but I want to change my body. So I've been trying to get into a workout routine. I've been watching what I eat, things like that. So we have self-righteous. It says, you are judging others for not being spiritual. Everyone is on their own path. Be compassionate. So some of you guys are uh, have a tendency to... How do I put that? Look down on people who haven't quite had their awakening or have different viewpoints or um don't yeah don't have the same beliefs as you do that haven't ascended um you know you don't have to let those people near you but just always remember that you are probably in their spot or their position at some point as well um you may just be the catalyst for them to awaken uh, but we have settling so it says don't stay with someone who isn't right for you just because it's safe that goes back to the very first card so some of you guys have just been settling for less than you deserve because it's just easier, it's safer, you know what to expect. Um, that's never going to yield that guilt what you truly desire. We have slow to act. It says you wait too long to make a move so you lose out. Don't overthink every little thing, just act. So some of you guys are overthinking things. That that can Overthinking can be self-sabotage. Like, and the longer you overthink it, the more chance that you will miss out on an opportunity that could be pretty amazing. Uh, we have too much. It says you tell others too much about yourself all at once. Sit back and listen more. So some of you guys also need to use better discernment about who you are sharing, you know, your personal details with, who you're opening up to, who you're being vulnerable with. We have procrastinating here too. So there is some type of issue about you guys putting off important things or making important decisions and things like that. It says, don't make someone wait around too long. They may give up on you. And then we have expectations. When you expect too much, no one measures up. Ditch your list. What 
want what's real. So some spirits says some of you guys have some unrealistic expectations too, um, that they're kind of wanting you to get in check. And we have playing games. It says you don't need to play games to keep the right one interested in you. So yeah, we have lust, not love. Passion isn't the same as lasting love. Don't get sucked in just by good sex. Some of you guys are sleeping with people too soon. I was kind of getting that with the too much. Um, some of you guys need to be more selective about who you are being intimate with. That could be for some of you. For others of you, you may feel like you need to like play hard to get or play games with, you know, potential suitors because you you feel like that's the way that that's how they will you you will make them interested in you, but you need to think about what has made you feel like that's what you how you what has made you feel like that's the way to get somebody interested in you? Was it because of some type of toxic relationship dynamic that you were in in the past that has taught you that that's the way that you, you know, you get people to chase you and to be into you? So there's like kind of like a need to like unprogram who you've become because of your past toxic relationships and reprogram yourself. Um, because the, the healthy, that the relationship that you're supposed to be in, the healthy one, you won't have to play any games. You won't have, it won't even like make you overthink to this degree, but you need to also keep in mind that if you are unhealed and you're trying to be in a relationship, it can also make you overthink, procrastinate, play games and things like that. So you need to really get to the root of why it is that you dating people or being in relationships and things like that, exploring your options puts you in this type of energy. Okay, so let's see what else um, we could take a look at here. For some of you, remember that... All of these energies may not be you, but this reading I did specifically do, um, you know, about what you need to work on and what you need to change. But um, this could be the issues um, within a situation that you're in with a person. So it could it could be interchangeable. We have embrace not knowing. So Spirit is saying that some of you guys are just wanting to know how things are going to turn out, who you're going to end up with, how everything's going to play out. But Spirit is wanting you to work on embracing not knowing those things. Something, because fear says something big is coming. Don't worry about the how or what it's going to look like. Just trust. It says find and follow your own North Star. So, there's a need for you guys to like really think about what it is that you want and what resonates with you. Not what resonates with everybody else or what everybody else thinks you should be doing or whatever, you know, they want you to figure out what is your path and they're wanting you to focus on that. Your path is not going to look like everybody else's path. It says you can't lose what's meant for you. Exactly. So if there's a person that you, you feel like is your person or that you're missing or that you wish that things could work out with them, but maybe you don't know what the future holds for that connection, right? Spirit says something big is coming, but Spirit wants to assure you that what's meant for you, you can never lose. So if this is your person, you guys will end up together, even if it isn't right now. So they're wanting you to like, just trust that and not worry so much about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen. It says everything has been leading up to this moment. So something is very close to happening. It says, look before you leap. So they're wanting you to not like, they're wanting you to like take a leap of faith. But they're wanting you to also, I know this is going to sound weird, but it's like they're wanting you to take a leap of faith, but they're also wanting you to be like logical or they're wanting you to use your discernment. Why is that? Look before you leap. Or they're telling you that you need to start looking before you jump into situations. There needs to be like, some of you guys are, have been a little bit too carefree or a little too impulsive in certain situations. They're wanting you to really scope out the situation before you make the decision to take that leap of faith towards it. It says, in spite of everything, you'll rise again. So some of you guys in the past, you did make some not so great decisions when it came to like jumping into situations or, you know, maybe having like, um, how do you say that? Rose colored glasses, things like that. But spirit says you'll rise again. This is the sign you've been waiting for. Yeah. Let go of your past and write a new future. Yeah. Spirit says just because you made mistakes in the past and you didn't make the best choices in the past 
that doesn't mean that going forward you can't do things differently and spirit says it is what it is you did what you did it happened the way that it happened you made the mistakes that you did you can't go back and change the past all you can do is do better going forward when you know better you do better it says make sure you play fair and it says beware of false people Stick to your values. You're being tested. Mm -hmm. So you guys may have people that have like come into your life who have just actually been tested to see a spirit says that see to see if you have the, the, the ability to discern between who is false and who is real, who is for you and who isn't for you, who is in alignment with you and who isn't. It says, don't let your circumstances define you. And we have, don't leave anything to chance. chance. So, Spirit says right now is the time to really be intentional, okay? The divine, it looks like the divine is working something out for you behind the scenes, but you also have to do your part. They're showing you what you need to know about certain people and situations and it's just about your life. They're presenting the lessons to you. It's up to you to learn the lessons and apply the lessons to your life going forward so that's how you do your part but something is being worked out for you behind the scenes i do want to get one more card because i do have five over here and four over here let's do one more over here it says be smart with your heart exactly they've already shown you certain things about certain people and you they've already presented the love lessons to you right now you need to apply those love lessons when you're dating and dealing with people going forward um, it says cleanse yourself and your space. You guys definitely have some people around you that you need to declutter from your life. People that really aren't for you. People that have shown you that who they really are, but, and you maybe haven't decluttered them or removed them from your life or your circle yet. So that is what spirit is wanting you to also work on. That could be a blockage for you. Holding on to dead ends. People that are not meant for you can definitely be a blockage. There's definitely some people here that have opinions about how you should be living your life or who you should be with or who you should be or what you should be doing and they really don't have your best interest at heart or how do i put this they don't have your best interest at heart or they don't their opinions shouldn't really carry any weight because you need to take a look at what they have achieved for themselves or the situations they are in um do they really have are they really somebody that you should be taking advice from or should their opinions be carrying any weight uh, when it comes to you? Like, should, should their advice carry any weight when it comes to, you know, your situations and stuff like that? But let's see what else the divine says. So as you guys are stepping into this, this energy where you are having better discernment, you're decluttering, you are coming, you know, you're, You're becoming more self-aware. Um, what is going to be manifesting as a result of that spirit? Let's actually do some tarot. What else do they need to know about this spirit? So we have the six of cups we have the moon mm. pisces energy the king of swords somebody there's a truth that's going to be revealed here or it's, it's just you're gonna somebody's able to see the the past clearly here gemini libra aquarius see the ten of pentacles oh what does that do with my collective the seven of cups it's like things aren't clear right now. It's like you're being blocked from seeing something that's coming in from you, for you. It's because spirit's not really wanting you to focus on that. They're wanting you to focus on you and how you can better yourself, how you can be the best version of you. They're not wanting you to focus on what this is that's coming in for you. I do see a return of a person. Could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. This is somebody that you have history with. This person, I feel like you guys don't even see. You, it's like you don't even know that this person is coming back towards you, but... This is somebody we're going to see here, but I feel like you're being blocked from being able to see something. 
Yeah, the star. Because they want you to focus on, yeah, look at this. The two of swords. It's like they want you to focus on your healing. They're not wanting you to focus on whatever this is. Yeah. The king of pentacles. Spirit's saying that you can't have this relationship or this person that you want unless you heal. So, yeah, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you got to be, again, nine of pentacles energy is that that energy of, like, you being self-sufficient, not needing another person. So, Spirit says once you get into that energy, that is when something is coming in here. But you guys maybe don't. Yeah, it's coming in slowly. It's already making its way to you. But... For some of you, you have something, there's like a financial goal or something that they're wanting you to work on completing or, yeah, the chariot. And you have the page of wands. Somebody's coming toward you. Yeah, somebody's like strategizing, planning. You will hear from this person. It's definitely somebody that you haven't, that either you withdraw, withdrew from or they withdrew from you. You walked away, they walked away. There has been silence between you and this person. Um, yeah. There was a need for you to, to work on yourself and for maybe for them to work on themselves too. Um, what do they need to know about this King of Swords and this Ten of Pentacles? The Four of Swords. And the hair font. Somebody has been doing a lot of thinking about what they want and who they want and what they want their life to look like. And they feel like they want that they want to settle down and they want to commit to you. What else does my collective need to know about this spirit? The death card, but there needed to be transformation. There needed to be change. There's gonna be um change within a connection here. Yeah, the death card. Or maybe for some of you, somebody needed to leave. It's always this. Somebody could have needed to leave another person behind with the Queen of Wands, the Death card, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. What is that with my collective, though? The Three of Cups, you yeah. know. Somebody feels like reuniting with you is their, is their happily ever after. That is their wish fulfillment. Tell me more. The Eight of Wands. They will tell you this, too. Yeah, it's like you're headed towards wish fulfillment. Something is changing. They know that you've been through a lot with this person. Or you've just been through a lot in like all of your relationships. Like you guys have maybe had a string of bad relationships. But it's like, and they know that you, you're tired. Like you've been through a lot. But Spirit says that that will be changing. Things are changing within a relationship or just in your love life in general. But you know why things are changing is because you're changing. You are the creator of your reality. So now that you're in this energy where you are becoming more self-aware and you're you're changing things about yourself, you're working on yourself, you're bettering yourself, you're leveling up, you're also going to see your relationships, your circumstances change, level up, grow, change, like change for the better. And that's what's happening here. So it's almost like I feel like you guys don't really see it. Um Maybe you guys feel like you don't really, maybe you already have been working on these things, right? You already have been working on yourself and you don't really see the results of all the work you've been putting into yourself, um, trying to move smarter um, and things like that. And you're like, I really don't see any positive effects of me doing these things. But Spirit is saying, we have the King of Wands, we have the Sun, Leo Energy, and we have the Devil. What is this about? What about that? The Three of Swords. The Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody is going to come towards you. Yeah, there's like an energy here of somebody coming towards you. They're coming towards you with like, it looks like positive energy, but I'm going to get clarity on the devil. It's like somebody's coming towards you and... They're wanting to make something happen with you, but you're going to be very up in your head about whoever this is that's coming towards you. Very guarded. You're not going to know what to do because it looks like it's somebody that hurts you. Why is the devil here? The page of wands. It could be a Capricorn that's coming towards you. The king, of, right as I'm saying that the king of pentacles comes out. Who's coming towards them? The ten, somebody's, yeah, somebody's going to want to reconcile with you. But this may, this person maybe has a history of being toxic, uh, having addictions, things like that. 
But what about the devil, though? Yeah, the seven of cups and the star. This is somebody you're you're not sure if this person has healed or. Yeah, the three of cups and the four of pentacles. You guys are going to be thinking about who this person, who you know them to be. But just like you've been changing and transforming, they may have also been doing the same thing. Yeah, this person has a lot of regrets. If they hurt you, backstabbed you, betrayed you, they're, they have a lot of regrets. They are sorry. And look at this. Yeah, they're definitely sorry. The justice card, the knight of swords, the ten of swords, and the five of cups. Somebody's coming in to make something right with you. Yeah, somebody's coming in to make something right with you. Reconcile and how's that going to go? I don't know. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I don't know. And the Eight of Wands. And we have the... Eh. I see somebody reaching out to you guys, but... You guys may choose to reject this person or ignore them. Yeah. But we have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Chariot. There's going to be a breakthrough in this connection, though. Oh, the Nine of... Some of you guys are going to choose to move forward, just be single and focus on yourself. Yeah, I do see that. What about the Nine of Swords, though? The High Priestess. This person caused you a lot of stress. The Two of Wands... Spirit says that when it comes to choosing whether or not you want to go down this path with this person, listen to your intuition. The Emperor and the Three of Wands. It's almost like Spirit is saying you're getting what you want, but when it comes in, it's like, because we have the Empress here too. Like for some of you, this is your twin or this is your divine counterpart or something like that. And it's like, you're going to get what you want but when it comes in, you may not even trust it. You may think that it's an illusion or it's like you. The, so what do they need to know about this spirit? How will they know if they can trust this? The Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. What about Ten of Swords? The Four of Wands. What's it do with you? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you weighing your options, not doing what you should do. Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Uh, strength to what? I don't know. Some of you guys feel like you finally have the strength to let this person go. And you're like, why would I let this person come back that it took me forever and a lifetime to let go of? But there's something here about you and this person. You and this person may be meant to be together. This is something that you waited for. The in-person, the emperor is here. 